Did you know that you can actually drag and drop MIDI right into the Logic Sequencer? This is an amazing workflow trick that I use all the time when composing music and you should try it out too. Let me show you how. Method 1. Importing a MIDI file. So there are many ways to drag and drop MIDI into your sequencer, but let's start with the classic one. Actually importing a MIDI file into your sequencer. You can, of course, import a MIDI file from the main menu here in Logic, here. But did you know that you can actually drag and drop MIDI files straight from your Finder window into your sequencer? Many composers use MIDI files of complete songs as a starting point to make a cover or remix, or simply to analyze the composition. So I have downloaded this Conquest of Paradise MIDI file, I just went to Google and searched for MIDI files for songs and found this site, downloaded the MIDI, and then I can drag and drop it into my project. So if I do that, Logic will automatically create all these tracks for me, and then I can use them to analyze what's going on here, or use some parts for remixing or making a cover of this song. But I have a much more creative way to use the import MIDI file method. Let me show you. I have actually developed a really cool thing that I'm going to give to you as a bonus, which I call a MIDI chord bank. I basically created lots of different folders with MIDI files for each chord type and uh, key. So, for example, let's say you want a major C chord. Well, you simply take this MIDI file and drag and drop it into a track in Logic. So now we have it here. And all these uh, chords that I made are exactly one bar in length. And uh, the MIDI velocity on all notes are 80 to start with. So this can be a great starting point if you simply want to add a chord progression into your project. And then you can go into uh, the piano roll to edit the velocity, the length uh, of the chords, and so on. Method 2. Importing MIDI from a plugin or instrument in Logic. Now, this is really interesting because more and more plugins, sample libraries, and software instruments actually support MIDI drag and drop right from their interface into the Logic sequencer. So the first instrument I'm going to show you that supports MIDI drag and drop is this acoustic guitar plugin called Ample Guitar 2. It has a strumming engine here, and here is where you select the chord and type and key. And you can of course program your own chord pattern here. But let's say you find something you like, E minor with this chord pattern. What if you simply want to get all of this into your sequencer? Well, what you are going to look out for is this icon here. Four arrows pointing in all directions. It means MIDI to host or drag to host. So if I left click this with my mouse, I can simply drag it right onto my track over here. So now I have It plays from here, not from the instrument here. So, you can use this to create an entire chord progression with this plugin if you want to. Let's say from an E minor we go to a G major with another strumming pattern. Drag and drop that in. And let's say we go to C major with yet another strumming pattern. This is probably going to sound very strange, but it's just for demonstration purposes. Let's listen to how this sounds. Alright, so that's how you use it from this specific plugin. Now I'm also going to show you how you can use another instrument. It's a sample library called Arpology from Sample Logic. So this is a rhythmic generator basically. If I hold down the C key here, there's all kinds of automation and things going on here. But basically you can see this little icon up here. And again, it's four arrows pointing in every direction. 
So in most cases you need to hold down the key when you drag and drop. And now I get it onto the sequencer. But of course this is lots of effects and lots of other sound design stuff going on. But let's say you want to have this and double it with a piano or strings or whatever. So now we have on the piano track and if you listen carefully, it is the same sound of the rhythm from Arpology here. Method 3. Importing from the Arpeggiator. Logic's built-in Arpeggiator is part of the MIDI effects, which I am sure you have used a lot. But have you tried using the drag and drop feature from the Arpeggiator into the sequencer? So to demonstrate this, I have added the arpeggiator from the MIDI effects onto this uh, electric piano track. So I have gone into the grid view and programmed this little pattern in 16th notes, like so. And the arpeggiator works a bit different with the MIDI drag and drop feature uh, compared to the other plugins I showed you. There's no four arrows like the other icons I showed you. Instead, they have this arrow here and this one here. These are actually two different options. Either import uh, or drag and drop the MIDI before the arpeggio is added or after. So let me show you. If I hold down F major on my MIDI keyboard with this pattern and I click this and drag it to the track above. Let's listen to that. That's actually the chord without an arpeggio. Simply, simply this. But if I hold down F major again and drag and drop from this box, I actually get the arpeggiated version of it. And you can loop this if you want to, to a full bar. And I find that this is much better than to be tied to the arpeggiator because now I can use this and copy and paste and arrange it to other instruments in my production. Subscribe now and watch a lot more videos on composing music, producing music, sound design, Logic Pro X and much more. I'll see you in the next video my friends.